When it comes time to stop a deadly threat, you have to be ready to take as many shots as it takes to make sure the threat is over. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Lufkin, Texas. It's an officer-involved shooting that we're gonna see the badge cam on that's gonna teach us some important lessons from a response to a call about a man who is being stabbed to death. It's gonna teach us important lessons about the effects of drugs on people's system, particularly in this case, PCP. Next, we're going to learn lessons about making sure that we take enough shots to stop the threat and how incredibly resilient the human body is. Dispatch has told these officers that they have a man who is stabbing someone and that the caller is belligerent. They have very little information, but we have a badge cam and a dash cam from this one. Let's listen in and hear what happens as the officer responds to what's going on. Then we'll come back and learn some lessons. Shots fired. Hang on, man. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hey, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, man. Hang on, man, hang on, hang on. The news story says that the perp here had PCP and marijuana in his system, and if you smoke PCP-laced marijuana, it turns you into a zombie. It's like The Walking Dead. You can go and read all you want about that. Now, as the officer comes on scene here, what we're gonna see is he's gonna try to issue verbal commands, and you can see him here, gun out, trying to get some help on scene, let him know what's going on, and you gotta decide in that moment, when's the right time to shoot? Here we see the officer put three shots on target. He puts three shots center mass on this guy who is stabbing someone to death, and it didn't even affect him. That's one of the things that that uh, PCP-laced marijuana will do, turn you into a zombie. You have absolutely no uh, sensation or feeling or care about those things. And those were full power, you know, defensive loads that he shot him. So now he's gonna move over here and take an aim shot. So you gotta be ready for those center mass shots to not do their thing. Handguns do not immediately incapacitate in most instances in center mass shots. They get people to think about something else. They will eventually get them to bleed out very seldom immediately incapacitating. But the headshot, if you put it in the brain, that definitely ends the fight very quickly. And we see the officer do that here. So we go back now to the badge cam. I wanna think about some of the most important things here. And I think one of the things that I wanna notice is how effective his pistol mounted light is. This is one of the reasons that most officers that I know carry a pistol mounted light if their department allows it, because it allows him to put two hands on the gun and still see very well what's going on around him. That's the advantage of a pistol mounted light. It lets you keep two hands on the gun, which is best for shooting accurately and fast and it lets you see very well what's going on around you when you have a bright light on there. But he puts three shots on the guy and now has to reassess and look for a better angle. And I wanna see how good that is that he looked for a better angle because he didn't want to endanger further the person who was the victim here. And you see, this is a small target. This isn't a large target. He's close to probably about three yards, but you still gotta be able to put that, that really significant, vital shot in a small space and the officer was able to do that. So I can't tell you whether officer or CCW to have the skills to, to get that shot where it belongs, to put it exactly where it needs to be. And that means dot torture, that means small drills, that means knowing your trigger control and your side alignment so that you can put a, a, a really reasonable and a, a precision shot on target when it needs to happen. Now, as he's telling that guy, hey man, hang in there, we're gonna get you help, we're gonna get you help, that guy actually lived. 
Uh, if you go read the news story, he's expected to make a full recovery because he fought like, you know, no tomorrow as well for his life. He really was. And I think it's important here that we see the officer actually has a handheld light as well so that not only can he continue to cover the, the suspect in case the threat reemerges, but he can see what else is going on around him without pointing a gun at him. That showcases the value of a handheld light as well. So we see here the value of having both a pistol mounted light and a handheld light on us at the same time. Overall, I think this officer was incredibly brave. I think he did a great job. I think the guy on the ground was a hero as well to save his own life. And this is the dangers of the drugs that we face today, folks, and what we might have to do to protect ourselves and cover our ASP.